Hey everyone, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more historic here on Magic Arena. And as always, I have another sweet brew for you that we played over the weekend. And I, again, I, I want to highlight it. It's it's great. It's a lot of fun. And hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, but first, as always, just want to remind everybody, if you enjoy the, the deck, the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, check out all the cool links down below, join the Discord, hop on over to twitch.tv slash Matumbo, and you can be a part of the deck building process. But with that being said, and we got that all out of the way, let's hop right into today's deck. And we are playing Village Pact. So this is just a really a basic mono black sacrifice deck. And we are going to be playing a lot of one of some cards that, you know, don't necessarily make sense, maybe. But uh, again, it's a lot of fun. We're playing some cards that we only had, you know, maybe one or two of. And uh, we're going to see how they work. Um, the fir first card we're really going to highlight is going to be one of the new cards that got added to Arena recently, Grave Pact. It's a four mana enchantment, and it says whenever a creature you control dies, each other player sacrifices a creature. So again, we're trying to sacrifice our creatures anyway, so we're going to really hope for a two for one effect here. Uh, we sacrifice one creature, they lose they lose one creature. So if we're sacrificing something to our, um, our friend, the Priest of the Forgotten Gods, to make them sacrifice one creature, we're actually going to make uh, them have to sacrifice three creatures because we sacrifice two. They're going to sacrifice one creature for each of the two that we sacrificed, and then they're going to sacrifice... Um, one on top of it for the priest of forgotten god's ability so yeah there's a lot of sacrificing going on uh and again we're trying to also benefit from that we are going to be looking to gain life and have our opponents lose life also priest of forgotten gods does that as well makes our opponent lose life we also get to draw a card add some mana but we're also playing zulaport cutthroat for this same reason we're going to be making our opponent lose life and we're going to gain life as each creature dies and then also on top of that four copies of blood artist same thing when a, when a creature dies they're going to lose a life we're going to gain a life and um, we're just going to kind of try to chain these together and we're just going to try to basically just hit them all at once and take them all out of the game um, we're also playing a, a new card to us that we happen to have two of. And uh, yeah, we're going to give this a shot. So Sanguine Brushstroke. This is a pretty cool card. It's three mana. It's an enchantment. It's going to, when it enters the battlefield, create not only just a blood token, but it's also going to conjure a card named Blood Artist onto the battlefield. So we're going to get a free Blood Artist for playing this. We're also going to get that blood token. But then this also says whenever you sacrifice a blood token, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So... We're getting that blood artist. We're getting a blood token to let us draw a card. And we're also getting them to, you know, lose a life. And we're going to gain a life for sacrificing that blood token. So it, it's a little costly in the form of three mana. But that three mana is essentially a blood artist and a blood token. So it really does kind of even itself out. And it's just a cool card that I felt like had some really great synergies that we wanted to give a shot, uh, a shot to. Um, the other one of card that we're going to try out is going to be Rezug, the Bone Cobbler. I haven't really had a chance to play this card yet. I happen to have one of them. I had a slot in my deck and I said, you know what? We need that 61st card. So let's try Rezug. It's a two mana, one three. And it just says tap target creature card in your graveyard perpetually becomes an artifact. You may cast that card this turn. So whether or not this card's going to be any useful, eh, I don't really know. But... Again, we're going to be sacrificing a lot of creatures, so we're going to have a lot of creatures hit our graveyard. We're going to be able to potentially tap Rezug to make Priest of the Forgotten Gods something uh, or an artifact that can't necessarily be targeted by creature removal. So, and then we could use it the turn it comes into play because it's not a creature anymore. We could also do the same thing with Blood Artist. Um, we're just going to have hopefully these just static effects that are going to be sitting there and hopefully be able to get some benefits out of it. We're also playing another new card to Arena, Oversold Cemetery, playing two of these. This just says at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have four or more creature cards in your graveyard, you can return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So again, we're sacrificing creatures. It's going to be very easy for us to get four creatures in the graveyard, so we're going to start bringing stuff back, whether that's going to be Serrated Scorpion to deal even more damage to them, uh, Shambling Gas to kill more of their creatures or generate mana, or even to return uh, Bowmasters or Blood Artists, um, you know, or Priest of the Forgotten Guards uh, back to our hand. There's just We're just going to use these cards to generate a lot of value. There's really a lot of really great synergy in this deck. We also have three copies of Ayara, first of Loctwain. We're going to basically be draining every time we cast creatures. We could also sacrifice creatures to draw cards. 
And then um, really we're just using some sacrifice abilities on top of what we have in order to, again, you know, have the, the benefits. So four copies of Village Rites in order to draw a couple cards when we sack a creature. And then two copies of Deadly Spute, same thing. Sack a creature um, or an artifact to draw two cards and create a treasure token. But yeah, uh, essentially. Oh, and the 666OT. Thanks for the sub. We're recording as you're subbing to the channel. So welcome. But other than that, we just got some lands. We have a couple of Phyrexian Towers. These are going to be huge in this deck because, again, we're going to be able to sacrifice a creature to generate extra mana. So this is going to help us ramp things out. You know, maybe we, on turn one, we play a Scorpion or a Shambling Gas. Turn two, play the tower, sack whatever creature it was, maybe generate a treasure token. Uh, and then we could play potentially uh, an Ayara on turn two. It's just going to be a, a lot of great value. This deck is just going to generate a lot of value. You're going to see some really cool games and some really cool interactions. Um, it's going to start off kind of slow because, you know, as new decks, you know, happen, you do have to, you know, kind of just learn how the decks function. So, but yeah, these, these games are really sweet. This is a really awesome deck. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, there are some changes I would make, but we'll hit on that in the wrap up. But yeah, until then, let's just hop right into the games and we will see you all at the wrap up. But I don't want to play like Explorer or Pioneer or whatever it's called. So we could Shambling Ghast, Sack It. Uh, it doesn't really work out. I was thinking we could somehow like... Of course. Of course. Just take the Sanguine Brushstroke because you don't know what it does. Or not. What is this? Discard 2? Welcome back to the party, Blood Artist. Hey, another Blood Artist. Necessarily want that. Each player discards a card. Each player sacrifices a creature. This is a bunch of damage. Don't do it back. Yeah, 
discard a or uh, sacrifice a blood artist. Just a lot of damage. Um, if I drew, I can only play a one drop. We don't have a lot. I mean, we have some one drops, but we, we have more twos than anything. Okay. They got a, they got a swamp. Amazing. Sure thing. We're at a comfortable 29 right now. Aww. Come back. That was a pretty interesting game. Whoops. Um. Mm, God, I wish I had a one drop. That was a creature. Not a one drop spell. God, thought sees every. Thought sees, thought sees, thought sees. I took the priest. It's a good card. Um, I'm gonna wait. Mutavault and Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Gotta get in some damage while we can, right? Thoughtseize. Probably get rid of the village rights. But I could see them getting rid of the uh, Ayara. She's. Okay. I mean. block grave packs that's interesting be greedy here let's just draw land just draw land beautiful let's go Activate your Muta Vault in response, please.
Oh, please. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, please. Please activate and block. Please, please. Yep, yep. We'll hold this land. Maybe we can pull a discard spell out of there. I mean, these are great draws. Like, I, I, so I actually at this point wish that I had more than one Grave Pact. Grave Pact just seems really busted in this deck. No more distractions. That's yep, you were at, uh, you were at two. Soon to be one. They probably don't even know that we could sacrifice um, this blood token to kill them. Good game, Brandon has. I mean, I'm going to keep this. Be gentle, mill deck. Oh, you're not a mill deck. Oh, well, this is not a good hand. Probably going to get Wrath next turn. I didn't mean to attack with that. But they went for blue. Okay. I feel a lot better now that we didn't just get wrathed here, but... Um... We've definitely drawn a lot of swamps this game. <clears throat> this is definitely a control deck, right? Oh, 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 Aracalypse. Uh, what do you, what do you think's going on over here? Uh, draw. Uh, we'll definitely pay for it. Don't kill them too fast. You. Like, you want me to uh, let them do their thing? Four, six. I th we could probably kill them here. Resolve, decline. All right, <clears throat> all the things. Sorry, I, I had to. I had to take care of it.
sat around, ate sandwiches, and caught up. Sounds like a, sounds like a pleasant time. Are we about to get burned? Like, yeah, you gonna kill this? Sure. All right, you did it. Um, hmm. I'll just keep playing these out, right? If they wanna, if they wanna keep exiling them, it's fine. That is a good hit. So we could, I could play Blood Artist, sack it, cast Grave Pack, get that going on and online. It may be beneficial to do this, but maybe not. Right, we can just play, we'll just play Grave Pact. Um, okay, or not. Or not. <clears throat> 15. We have one creature in the graveyard, and it's not great. Jeez. If anybody's going to kill our creature, it's going to be us. Now we're at 10. This is not good. Oh, I need... I need to be drawing creatures, not... They just have too much pressure now. Attack. Five, six, seven, eight. Probably dead. Right. No spell. That was actually a really good hit. <clears throat> so we can play the Bowmaster. Ping. Let's get Trample? No. So I think I'm gonna ping this. All right, past the blockers. We are going to block here and here. Hmm. I wonder if I sack first. If I sack this first. Hey, Paul. Happy, uh, 
Happy Sunday to you too. Okay, so all of our all of our creatures are blocked now. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna die. They're gonna sack another creature. Oh wait, why didn't that why didn't that function that way? Oh, gotcha. Cause it got exiled because of that. All right, so we get to block, and then we get to sacrifice to the tower. I mean, they do get to force their damage. I'd be very happy if they sacked the one that was getting through. Okay. Yeah, we're at three. Are we dead? Oh, this is huge. Oh, holy moly. Okay. Okay, so we're going to gain a life. Okay, this is working out perfectly. Resolve. Draw a card, go down to four. Okay. <clears throat> Just please don't have four points of burn in your hand, because we've definitely stabilized. Because we get to we get to recur a serrated scorpion every turn. Oh actually, you know what? A Yara might be better. Land. Drain a life. I've got a, uh, <clears throat> A reminder to stop at the end of their turn so we could sack the scorpion so we could get back a scorpion. Minus three. So we get on to two. Uh, okay. I guess I have to do this now. I don't want to go to three again, so yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That was good getting locked down. They were they were stuck at two land, but still. Grave Pact is pr a pretty good magic card. Oh, they have a ring avatar that they're playing. They're playing rings. Um, you know what? We're going to play Zulaport Cutthroat. Fatal Push. All right. Take one. Interesting. Whenever one or more creatures dies, draft a card. They probably have Orcish Bowmaster in their hand, too. Um. Let's attack, see what happens.
How do you like it? <clears throat> well, enjoy your free card. That's like that's like drawing a card without drawing a card. They figured out a way around Bowmaster. Hey, look, the One Ring. <laughs> Alright, let's just use our mana effectively here. They outsmarted an orc, yeah. Holy moly! Paul, what are you doing? <laughs> VIP, what? Their deck's pretty sweet. If I attack, they get to double block and then get two cards. So attack as predicted okay en enjoy all of these triggers <laughs> I mean, you're at six. Sure thing. They play another ring. No, Ugh, that's not good. So I attack. All right, so if I attack for one, they have to, t it's better for them to take it, right? But knowing them, they'll probably block. They'll take three, four, and then. So I do this now. So ping ping. Yeah, we're good. This is game. Got him. Woo! Hey, Frankie, of course. Welcome to chat, by the way. Opponent goes first. Uh, we'll keep this. I mean, this is good. <laughs> Nobody tell me that I have Bowmaster in my deck. All right. Nobody tell me. Frankie with the raid. Oh my gosh, Frankie! Thank you so much. You got here just in time for the ha for the halfling party. I don't necessarily know uh, what that kind, what kind of party that is, but welcome to all the raiders. We are here playing uh, some historic. 
Ooh, that is a scary card to look at. All right, so how do we how do we get around that? Maybe we play this. I can sack the serrated scorpion to play a blood artist into a bowmaster, and then this will start at least generating us some value. Halfling party reminded you of an improv comic. All right. Uh, five, six, seven. Oh no. Oh no, they're tapping slowly. Does have trample? No, just reach. Okay. Five? What do you got for five? Not another Cavalier. Oh, are you kidding me right now? How about you double the number of the, the counters? Alright, well, we're just going to go ahead and do this. I mean, I really need to draw. That's fine. We're going to take five. We'll go to 19. Pretty good. I mean, I'll go to I'll go to twenty one. Right, seems fine. <laughs> Welcome to the bowmaster party. All right, so we attack. Would you rather take one or two? No attacks. They can't cast the Storm the Festival unless they just drew their their land, which I'm sure they probably did, knowing knowing our luck with our opponents. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so they can only generate eight mana. Okay. Yep, you tap for two. They did it. All right, come on, opponent. Turn those creatures sideways, please. Coward. Um. I guess we could kind of do like a chain reaction type thing here, right? Sure. Take two. 
All right, so two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all I have to do is draw a land, and then they're able to. So if I bowmasters the ghast, the ghast that that's two, and then the ghast <clears throat> minus one minus one kills the bowmaster token. That's four. It's not quite enough damage, so we're just gonna hold back for right now. <clears throat> Maybe they'll just draw another Cavalier or uh, one, of their, one of their three drops that doesn't really do anything. Or the One Ring. Okay. Um, I'm just going to play this now. Two pings. I can't target them. Yep, must be nice. I mean, the next time they tap their one ring, they're dead, right? So. They're, okay, so they're going to fight a Bowmaster. Oh, they're going to fight a Cutthroat. No, I don't agree with that, but okay. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty lol. Um, I mean, they've got protection, so no attack. Tap that ring, tap that ring. found it so we're probably dead now it's unfortunate eight plus eight sixteen no that goes down to seven fifteen Come on, opponent. Yep. I mean, we knew... We knew this was happening, so... I definitely feel like they should have tapped their Nykthos first, though, right? Okay, I don't think Pelucranos does anything. Karn, I guess Karn. What does Karn get you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, good game. Whew. Get out of here, Mono Green.
turn one, Scorpion, turn two, probably Priest, depending on what they're doing. Oh, uh, well. Bolt the bird, right? Bolt the bird. Ooh, can I can I bolt that bird? <laughs> can I pet that dog? Alright, so we can we can make him sack a creature here, which is probably good. This costs five to activate, right? Um I want to start getting creatures in my graveyard. We have two. This will give us three if we sack this. Probably not worth it. Fully expect to get uh, collected companyed. I played a land right. <clears throat> so two, four. This has to be collected company, right? They're just going to adapt. I mean, you got food tokens. <laughs> you sack of food and just you explode from eating too much too quickly. All right. I like it. Just remember my my wild cards are are limited, so Come on, opponent. Your your dog uh, is getting impatient. Ooh, what do you got? What do you got over there? Is that a, that's a goblin, right? Yeah. Could kill it. Okay. 
Dang, I just have all of the hasters. What does this one do? Guess we just wait for him to attack, right? Sack. Do I sack this? I don't think I do. They're just playing like one drops and hasters and no, okay, they're, they're actually playing goblins. Okay. They're gonna try to goblin for real. Nah, no attack. Oh, I like seeing these mountains on top of the deck. Eh, I don't like that too much. Double block. off. Okay. I mean, we're we're doing essentially what we came here to do. So, no attacks. I double block here. We can get back. Yeah. Let's gain some life. Let's uh let's end the game here. Uh, I can't do it to a creature and opponent controls. Uh create a treasure token then. Oh, I thought I could do it to any creature. I've messed up. Don't be a muxus. I mean, okie doke. <laughs> I don't know if they realize what's like. What's the point of attacking there? Okie doke. All right, welcome back to the wrap up. And again, I told you we had a lot of sweet games. Uh, I really, really enjoy this deck. It's got a really cool play style. You're, you know, putting your creatures basically in harm's way in order to get benefit out of them. But then you're also, you know, not only getting a benefit, but you're also hurting your opponent. So it's kind of just a, a two for one uh, in that sense. But really, really powerful synergies in this deck. So what I really want to hit on is, again, I, I do want, I, I would like to kind of, you know, modify the deck. But again, I don't have the wild cards for it. Maybe you do. I do think uh, Rezug doesn't need to be in this deck. I knew at the beginning before I even built this deck that this just did not need to be in it. This should probably be another Grave Pact. The Sanguine uh, Brushstrokes 
don't necessarily need to be in this deck, but this does give you the uh, ability to play more than four Blood Artists in your deck. Yes, we have Zulaport Cutthroat, but, you know, this is just a little bit of uh, of extra value. Uh, and then again, right, Bowmaster is such a busted card. This goes in almost any deck that is playing black in it, whether or not you're playing creatures or not. This just great, it gets really great um, just to counterplay against decks that draw cards. But then also in this deck, right, you're getting two creatures for two mana. So you're having, you have extra creatures that you could sacrifice to your sacrifice effects in order to just outvalue your opponents overall. So uh, again, a lot of, a lot of great value. Uh, again, Friction Tower is great. Castle Loctwains are great in this deck. But I, I would just play with the numbers of um, Grave Packs in the deck. I, I think Grave Pact is a very, very great card. And then maybe if I were to take out the, the Sanguine Brushstrokes like I hit on a second ago, I might put in maybe a couple of uh, a couple more Deadly Disputes, um, something along those lines, or even maybe like a Call to the Death Dweller, because getting back something like a Bowmaster and a Scorpion and then giving your Bowmaster uh, death touch could be really really uh, beneficial so it might be something along those lines so so but do with it what you will let me know if i missed any cards that you feel like should be in the deck because again there's so many cards on arena that sometimes we miss something but it, it's really cool at the same time to play with some of these new cards but with that being said again if you enjoy the deck the channel the video please like comment subscribe check out all the cool links down below join the discord hop on over to twitch.tv slash ba matumbo and Bring me your deck idea and let me let me play your deck uh, on you know on stream, and uh, we can you know work with the ideas and yeah you, we could just turn your deck into a video. So bring bring your ideas and your deck list over to the uh, stream on the weekends. But with that being said, everyone, please stay safe, and we will see you all next time.